Step into the box, baseball fans. Here we go. We got some, uh, this is a score at my local Meyer. Three of these. 2018 Tops Series 2. We are basically looking for one card. Looking for the Grand Slam in the bottom of the ninth. Down big. We need it. We're looking for the Acuna short print. Bat down short print. Plain and simple. That's the card we're looking for. Anything else, it's either swing big and home run Grand Slam or, or bust. You can go home crying. So I'm, at least I'm already home. So if I don't do it, I'm crying. All right, here we go. You know, it's when you're home by yourself and you're on lockdown, you crack yourself up sometimes, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open these up, get them. These were on clearance, which makes it a lot better. $8.50 a piece. Buy these all day long and give it a shot. And I know some people would open these up or, or not open them up, but uh, keep them sealed and resell them. Forget that, man. These are This is the one where for the chance to hit the Acuna, we take the chance. Here we go. We got three of these today. Like I said, this this is like hitting a grand slam on the bottom of the ninth. You got three shots at it, and see what happens. And you know, maybe we'll pull another card. You don't know. There's quite a few. I, I like the value in the uh, hanger packs. Here we go. Nothing like tops to throw you for a loop. Martinez, Richard. And um, there's some still people some that are high on Villanueva. How's everybody doing out there? Appreciate you tuning in. Like, subscribe, share. Just getting started. If you like Topps Baseball, I typically open only Topps Baseball. I'm not anti-Panini, but I just think uh, the um, the no logo takes away from it. Rookie, what do we got here? Power up. We've got the Nationals. Gold card. Rookie. Jake Lamb. And here's an Arenado out of 50 gold. That's cool. Legends in the making. Ozzy Albies. And doesn't look like we have the short print in this one because it would have been there. If you're not a card opener, you're just getting started in these hanger boxes, you're going to find the good inserts and short prints in that middle stack. And we didn't hit it, so we're... 0 oh for 1. And there we go. First box down. If you like to see, I got my method in my madness when I open. I usually put all the rookies in a pile, inserts in a pile, and then um, notable cards. So really the only notable card was that Arenado Gold to 50 and, and the Ozzy Albies rookie insert. Not looking at a whole lot there. Number two, we've got one strike on us. Looking to hit the granny. Step in that box. Dig the cleats in. Let's do this. Here we go. I'm a Cubs fan. Caratini. Really bummed about the season. Was look, really looking forward to going to the Cubs opener up in Milwaukee. I live right in the middle between Milwaukee and Chicago. Actually, usually less time to get to Milwaukee Stadium because of traffic. But that is what it is, and hopefully we get this issue taken care of and we'll be back to playing baseball. All right, here was our inserts. Mariano Rivera, McCutcheon, bang the can. And here's a, ooh, 
It's not a bad card, really. I would have to look to see if Nito's still what he's doing, but that's a camo out of 25. It's a nice card. Well, I'm going to top load that. Anybody want to comment below? What's uh, Tomas Nito doing? Is he in the league? Haven't heard anything about him. You know, you got the Mets hype with the polar bear. And um, I don't even know if he's still in the league. Cool card. Camo's always awesome. Insert there. Insert Javi Baez, my boy. And did not hit the Acuna short print there, unfortunately. Again, man, comment. What uh? What's your favorite? What's your favorite product? Tops, Panini. Do you like? Are you Gypsy Queen Heritage? Are you the staple? You know, Series One, Two, an update kind of person, or do you like high end cards? I um, I kind of like this. I've become to where I like the staple cards a little more um, when it comes to purchasing. It's cheaper. You can get it retail. Price never goes up. Hobby box prices always go up. Um, like, for example, Series 2 last year, you had those four rookies booming off, and hobby boxes, jumbo hobbies are now 300, and hobby boxes are... are 200 it's insane so i bought tons of series two last year and then you come back to a product like this it's pretty cool it's on clearance and you got one card that you're looking for so here we go we're down to our last strike we're either gonna swing and hit big or we're gonna whiff and walk to the dugout crying i'm already in the dugout but i would like to be happy at the dugout And who knows? There's another Villanova rookie. And who knows, man? Maybe uh, maybe some of these rookies will work out. You just never know. I always liked that card. That was a cool card. I opened a bunch of this. The sad part is, is I've sold two of the Kuna short prints the next fall for about 70 bucks a piece. If I could just go back in time, imagine had two of them in my possession. Insert Addison Russell, no longer in a league. Rookie Silver. Austin Hayes. Tim Raines. I'm kind of slow playing this, and no Acuna short print. Son of a gun. Well, there we have it. Wind this down. At least the investment was low. It was worth a shot. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Hope you're enjoying it. Check out some of my other openings. I have a few more coming up. Again, I'm not working, so I'm busting through. And uh, there we have it. Really uh, not a whole lot in that opening overall. You know, a stack of rookies, base, inserts, a couple notable inserts here. Austin Hayes insert, Mitch Garver, Silverfoil, Ozzy Albies, and then best card right here, Thomas Nito, out of 25. So there we have it, guys and girls. Peace out.